All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right. We in the building. Roll the intro. Another one. It's another one. And another one. What's poppin' y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. Don't be over here scoping the scenery out and you ain't subscribed to the channel. Don't do me that. Go ahead and like the video too. Super important. Like the video so it gets to who it needs to get to. And make sure you turn that notification bell on. I couldn't even say it for a second, child. Turn that notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. All right, y'all. So if you're coming over here from the last video, Thank you for being obedient and listening. So if you haven't, go ahead and watch the video right before this one. Um, we already talked about Ice Spice album and everything. But now, child, we just going to get into the thick of it, okay? I'm not going to keep y'all long at all because it's not really a whole lot to say, okay? So, Isis, girl, I've been trying to figure you out. I'm really trying to figure her out and not in a good way. So, here's the thing. Okay, I've been away for, um, I didn't get a chance to cover some things regarding Miss Miss Ma'am, Miss Mamas. So, I'm going to touch on all those things really quickly. So, we all know about uh, Ice Spice. She started playing in Nikki's wigs about a month ago. This is one of them that she has on. She started playing in Nikki's wigs about a month ago. But prior to that, a couple months ago... Ice had got exposed for talking crap about Nicki Minaj. She called her, um, y'all know I'll be forgetting, something and ungrateful. Was it bitter? I can't remember. Bitter and ungrateful? Y'all know I can never remember what she called Nicki because I tried to forget it from my brain because it was so disrespectful. So nasty and so rude. Yes. So, um, she called Nicki something, some nasty things. She called Nicki some nasty things. And she got exposed by her friend. She put out the text messages. Okay. So then, um, about a month or so after that, she started playing in Nikki's wigs. The barbs turned on Ice Spice. They said, girl, you're a chop. You're never going to make it. You know, whatever, whatever. They said, we're done with you. The barbs cut her water off after they found out she was talking crazy about mama. So then um, she started playing in Nikki's wigs and everything. And then what happened was... Um, I spiced after we clocked it that she was playing in Nikki's wigs and that she was trolling and everything. Then she came out and said that, oh, no, 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 no. I was channeling Marilyn Monroe. Nikki, oh, no. I was channeling Marilyn. Girl, what? Now, you're not going to sit up here and make all of us feel like we going crazy. You was playing in Nikki's wigs, girl. You had on Martha. Did you have her Hello Good Morning wig on? Or her I Am Your Leader wig? You got her on her Super Bass wig? Look, girl, you not finna play in our face. So, and I remember I told y'all, I said she would come out later on and say, oh, no, I wasn't, you know, I was actually channeling someone else. She said she was channeling Marilyn Monroe. None of us bought it, okay? But then what happened was Miss Ice Spice she got into it, I guess, with the stylist. I don't know if she didn't, you know, run the coinage. That's the only time people you work with pretty much air you out is if you didn't do what the, you, they wanted you to do or you didn't run them their coins. So, um, she got caught up and exposed and she texts the, the stylist or whatever. And let me get that pulled up. And she was telling the stylist, basically sending the stylist Nicki Minaj reference pictures um, of Nicki's old wigs, just how we thought. And through the text messages, the stylist exposed the text messages as they should have. They should have exposed those text messages. So that is exactly what the stylist did. Um, I guess she didn't run the coinage. And mind y'all, this all happened a couple days ago. Um, and this is not what she needed right before her album dropped. She dropped the album. I reviewed the album. So if you're looking to know what I thought about the album, go ahead and check the other video out. It's right above this one. So go check that one out first and then come back. Okay, so the stylist, she goes, she puts out there, um, she's like, no, you were in fact channeling Nicki Minaj, and she put out the text messages to prove it. So let me pull up my receipt screen. So I'll let this rock, and that everything that we thought was the inspo, y'all, we were not tripping. Those are text messages from I Spice and the stylist. And actually, I wonder if they are on Instagram. 
what's the stylist name? Bella, the Bella brand, the Bella brand. And if you feel like this might be some late tea for you, then child, go ahead and click off because um, this is some good tea, some good hot tea for me and the rest of my listeners because I was away and we didn't get a chance to jap about it. So y'all know we got to jap about it. Okay. Oh, so she still has. Oh, uh oh. Okay, so that's the same thing I'm showing y'all. But look, so the text messages, y'all. Look, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That was that wig that everybody was thinking. Maybe we didn't really know exactly and pinpoint where we knew that wig from. Oh, but yes, that was the wig. We were not wrong. We were not crazy. That was the wig. Yes, yes, yes. That was the wig. Okay, so y'all. The text messages read this. Look, so she said, KK, I have one more. Uh, she said, I have one more you had me make. She said, KK, perfect. And you see her sent a picture of Nikki to the stylist. She said, we doing this. Can I have that Uber delivered to, to me? We going to do it for this TV show. And um, the, the stylist said, this should be done with a 12. And then I said, you have 12 or whatever. So there's Hawking. So she sent her that one. Then I sent her another one. She wanted this wig. Nikki just had on on tour. She said, um, like in her mood, fringe bangs. No. She said, the same thick bangs Nikki has on tour. She said, the same thick bangs Nikki has on tour. So she is telling him, like, make me like Nikki. She had all of us think, well, she had me thinking nothing, child. I knew that she was trolling Nikki, and I knew that, you know, at first I was like, okay, maybe she could be paying homage. Remember I said that, y'all? But then when she did something else shady, I was like, nah, girl, I got your number. I, I see you. We see each other. I see you. You know, that is what I was saying or whatever. And so, but she came out and said she was channeling Marilyn. No, she was channeling Nikki and the stylist posted the text messages to prove it, okay? And so, I spice, you're, you are just a weird little girl. Like, I, why are you doing this? It, it's just never, you know? But then, y'all, here's the Cardi B piece of it all. So, then, yesterday, a couple hours before her album is set to drop, there's a leak, quote-unquote leak. She leaked it. Come on now. Somebody from her team leaked it to get the people going, get the people talking. There was a leak from her album from a song called BB Belt where she was seen seemingly taking shots at Cardi B. She said, she said she pretty. She keep changing her face. She mad I'm taking her place. Um, and what else did she say? She said she mad I'm taking her place. Uh, oh, she said uh, these, these girls be uh, going on rants. Y'all know um, Cardi B is known for being a rant queen. Or whatever. So she's taking shots at Cardi B. And then Cardi B jumps on the Twitter right away. Because y'all know it's no shade Cardi B. Cardi B is at home barefoot and pregnant. So she have nothing but time. You know, this is her wheelhouse. She lives for the mess. Um, Cardi B is at home barefoot and pregnant living for the mess. So Cardi B responds right away. Um, in Cardi B fashion, she responds right away. When she heard the leak. Um, and she responded on Twitter, but she didn't, she said something, but I guess she said she going to put it in the music. Like if you going to get caught off me, I'm going to get caught off you. So Cardi B's first tweet. And she said, these bitches have absolutely lost their mind. I'm, uh, I'm getting all my lick backs on my album though, on each one of you bitches. So I think that was for JT too. And then she said this too. She said, these bitches can't see me in numbers or status. Y'all have way too much time to catch up. Can't see me in money, can't see me in real estate, fashion, and can't see me in person either. I'm not in a rat race with none of you bitches, and I'm going to show y'all. That is what Cardi B said on her Twitter or whatever. So she heard the leak, and this was around the same time, again, earlier in the day. Y'all know the, the album dropped later last night or whatever, but that got leaked early in the day. And what I'm thinking, because I'm using my good noggin up here that God blessed me with, that Cardi, um, no, I'm sorry, I Spice team leak that from that snippet from her album to get the people talking because you know the album is coming out at midnight now we know that um 
Ice Spice had been flopping all over the place. Everything she put out, it was flop, brick, brick, or whatever. So she did need something like this to get the people talking, to get the people going, or whatever. And, you know, it did just that. It did just that. Now, I already reviewed the album again. I told you what I thought about the album. But I want to know why Ice Spice. What, so one would think that, okay, she doesn't have the Nikki support anymore. That's that's kibbutz. It's done. Chopped. You know, I put a fork in it. It's finished. So then one would think, okay, if she doesn't have Nikki support, then maybe she would want Cardi B support from her fan base and everything, or just to have that kind of alliance over there with Cardi B. Um, but then you go take shots at her on a record. I just want to know what is your end game, I Spice? Because love, and I hate to break it to you, and this video is getting a little lengthy, so we're gonna wrap this up in a minute. But you don't have the talent, the wherewithal, the stamina, the stand power to not have an ally. You may think you're that girl like that, but you're not that girl. You don't have the support from the Barb's or Nicki Minaj, and you don't have the support for from Cardi B or Barty Gang. Not, and you know, obviously, we you would want the Barb support because you know Cardi B, the, the Barb's, the, the Barty Gang ain't really been supporting Cardi B like that. I mean, we just calling the thing a thing, you know. So, but you would still want one of these women, I guess to be allied with and aligned with them or maybe has the narrative change. Do you not want to be aligned with Nicki Minaj or Cardi B anymore at this point if you're a female rapper? Do you want to forge your own path forward? And it looks like that is what Ice Spice is trying to do. Now, I'm all for a girl standing on her own too and not really, you know, aligning with anyone, you know, kind of standing on your own and just keeping it, you know, everything copacetic. Like, yeah, you know what? I'm that girl. I don't want to F with any of y'all. I'm all for that. If you had the talent to back it up. And I Spice, you do not. You don't have the talent to back it up. And I don't think this is going to end well for you. Girl, what are you doing? That's the title of this video. And I just want to know, what is your end game? I want to know who's advising you. I want to know what your end game is. But for you to take shots at Cardi B and for you to be doing all this foolishness with Nicki Minaj, what this is showing me is that I Spice, she wants to forge her own way. She She's not willing to... She don't want to be in none of, any one of these girls' shadows. She just don't. She wants to be that girl. When we talk about female rappers, she wants to be in the conversation. It needs to... She wants it to be Nicki Minaj. She wants it to be Cardi B, I Spice, Megan Thee Stallion. She wants to be... When we talk about those girls, when we talk about the who's who's of the female rappers, when we talk about those girls... She wants to be among the conversation. She wants to be in that ranking. She does not want to sit underneath. She does not want to pay the back. She doesn't want to pay the sides. She wants to play the front. That is what it's showing. It's very clear as day. But I don't know. I don't think this is going to end well for her because she doesn't have the talent to back it up. Now, had she played this card and I Spice was actually talented and she was really a rapstress. She is not a rapstress. She is not a rapping, rapping girl. You know what I mean? She's fat butt with her pants up. And, 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 uh, gra, keep it a stack. Gra, 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 gra. She's that kind of girl. So for you to come in like this, maybe it's a new day. Maybe I'm old school and I'm thinking that she can't really hold her own. I don't see us really. Checking for Ice Spice in about a year or two. I told that to y'all before. So I don't know what her end game is, but girl, whatever it is, you better um you you better figure it out soon. And you better appreciate this moment that you're in right now because Ice Spice, you'll never have this kind of um and really the hype is dying down. Like I told you, she's been flopping, big old flopperoni pizzas. Just everywhere. She's been flopping around everywhere or whatever. Uh, anything that I remember when I Spice would put something out, it would just automatically be Billboard. Even if it charted low, it still made the Billboard. Now she's brick, 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 like I told y'all. And so her momentum is definitely dwindling down. And it's actually, it's sad to see because it actually was slated for her. She had the Nicki Minaj co-sign and everything. Had two features with Nicki Minaj. And I Spice has not collaborated with any other female rappers outside of Nicki Minaj. Now, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, y'all. 
I'm trying to think who else has she collaborated with. And I really did think that Doja, there was a possibility Doja Cat could have been on the album because I think she did go on tour with Doja Cat um, this past fall and everything. But even Doja Cat wasn't on the album. So I feel like I Spice is saying, I don't need you girls. I'm standing on my own. I'm standing on my own too. And I'm here to take up space. Yeah. I don't make the, I don't make, I'm not a rap girl. Yeah. I'm not like a super lyrical girl. I'm, you're not going to get a whole lot of bars out of me, but I'm just going, I'm going to be a baddie. I'm showing a panty. You know, I'm, I'm, that's what she gives. And so maybe that's, maybe that's the plan. I don't know. I don't see it ending well for her. I don't think the people around her are telling her, right, This you're not going to benefit from any of this because the thing about it is you coming up against Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj is not going anywhere. I mean, we know that. And then you sending shots for Cardi B, um, it, it seems a little unwarranted, especially considering you two had an exchange of energy at the, um, was that the Met? They were at some party. Was that the Met Gala? I can't remember where they were. I think that was the Met. But it just doesn't seem like that was, it was an after party or something. And then y'all had another exchange of energy on um, Twitter and everything. And she said, post that picture in your camera roll that you took with your phone. You know, it just seems a little unwarranted that you would have um, anything for Cardi B. But I get it because, you know, you got to come take up space. And, you know, two chicks from the Bronx. Y'all both are fair-skinned girls. And, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what your what your end goal is, Ice, but it's not and I don't I don't see it ending well for you. So I say, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? But you know what this shows me though? I spice what you are, you are a snotty nose hood rap from the Bronx who is a clout chaser. You are a freeloader, you are a user, and you will do anything for clout and keep your name alive and for attention and to keep your name buzzing. You are opportunist. And I am scared of people like you, girl. I am scared because you just have a person that you would step on anybody's toes and you would do anything just to keep that name buzzing. You would do anything. You are a stunt queen. You are a stunt queen. Just like how you were trying to give off the illusion that you and Central C were dating and his girlfriend came out. You know, her and Central C had the song or whatever. Um, a couple a couple weeks ago, they released a song and it was she was trying to give like, you know, anyone knows that they were dating and everything. Then his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend came out and caught cap on the whole thing. I Spice will do anything for a mama. I Spice is a stunt queen. And she's an opportunist. She's a freeloader. She's a user. And I Spice will do anything to get ahead. And she will step on anybody's toes and cross anyone to do it. And like I said, I'm scared of people like you, girl. Stay away from me. Ooh, girl, you better stay away from me. Ooh, don't make that face. You better stay away from me because people like her, I run from. I'm scared of people like that because they will do anything, anything, if it benefits them in the end, including crossing someone who has helped them and put them in position the same way she did Nikki with those text messages. The same way she did Nikki with those text messages, the same way she's trolling Nikki with those wigs and kind of trying to play in Nikki's face and get a rise out of Nikki and get a reaction and get a response. When that girl, quiet as kept, Nikki Minaj gave you two features. Y'all got on the Barbie World track together and she gave you Princess Diana. Both top tens. She stamped you. She gave you that stamp, Princess. And although you didn't sign a record deal with her, I Spice, nobody's saying you had to. For you to come and try to like troll her and everything and do all that, that mess. And then even with the, um, even with this y'all, even this, this little gag city meets Gotham City kind of thing you were trying to do. And, um, you know, I don't even know what was up with that because then you have, you know, if you look closely, you could see her right there. Um, you know what this was going to give. You know this was going to give, like, you wanted to do your own gag city. You know what all this is going to give, girl. It's very, it's clout chasing. She's doing anything to keep her name buzzing. I don't trust her. And I just hope it ends well for you. And I hope you're saving those coins, girl. Because, um, listen, that's all I'm going to say. Say them coins, I Say them coins and you better get while they're getting this good. But, yeah, girl, what are you doing? And what is your end game? 
Y'all let me know. What do y'all think Ice Spice Endgame is? Do you think Ice Spice can stand on her own? Maybe you think Ice Spice is actually talented enough to stand on her own and not have an ally with either one of these girls. Um, me personally, Ice, I feel like you, um, you're you feeling yourself. You smelling yourself. You, you feeling that. You know, you feeling yourself. But Ice, you have the eye, but you are definitely missing the T, baby girl. You are missing the T. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm very, very curious to see what do y'all think about Ice Spice's strategy and how she's moving out here. Do you guys think that she doesn't need to align herself with anyone? Do you think it's right what she's doing? Um, I want to know. I want to hear from y'all and let me know what y'all think about this video. And I'm going to be hearing from y'all in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video and click that notification bell so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. I'll catch y'all in the next one.